Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to another great episode of Lunch with Doug. I'm sitting in my car, as usual. You know that. Um, I'm totally dressed down today. It is, um, it's Tuesday, and I'm just, I'm just chilling. I've got my sunglasses, though, I'm going to put on because there's the clips coming. So I don't want my face to melt and my eyes to melt. <laughs> but it, uh... It's 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 um it's about uh, twelve twelve thirty as I'm taping this, and um, ish sometime there, and it's it's a strange it's a strange day. It's like we're missing part of the sun or something. So we'll see what happens. We'll see how this thing uh, comes to play. So uh, I'm just gonna go to some of the fine folks that sponsor the show. I'm gonna go buy some of their businesses and kind of see what it looks like from their angle so yeah that's what I'm doing today on lunch with Doug um yeah and there may be some more there there's some other stuff so um we're, we're kind of having a recovery week this week uh there was so much that went into getting the 100th episode done and all that there was just a it was kind of exhausting last week really so There's lots of hype about the whole thing and so I gotta be a part of history on the show here. I didn't cover it yesterday. Um, it's a kind of a weird sensation. I'm on the corner of Arch and uh, Main Street and not what I expected but it looks like it is gonna get dark. Every one of these eclipses I've ever seen in history they've all been the wrong kind or something. It never got completely dark, or maybe it never got completely dark in our area. But today, it's acting awful weird. And the... It's definitely not like a, a noonday overhead thing. And I kind of feel like I'm roasting. I don't, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see if it fries my camera. I'm at church here. Shadows are weird. It's just weird. The UV V rays are weird. I feel like I'm getting microwaved through my skin. <laughs> Maybe it's just my imagination. I don't know, but it's 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 a strange one. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna totally point the camera at the at the deal here. Here we go. This this may totally run our whole our whole thing. There it 
was, and a bird just whistled at me. Did you hear that? That was weird. Birds are whistling. I feel like I'm getting microwaved. Um, when I pointed my camera at the sun, my battery instantly went to half, half charge. There you go. Creepy stuff going on. Eclipse 2017. So yeah, I guess I'm going to get all dark. It's going to get all dark and I'm going to go night night. Apparently businesses on the square have closed some of them. That's crazy. Because there's an eclipse. So, yeah. That's all I know. Damn! Look at that, man! It's almost closed! I see it! It's awesome! Wow! It's good. I never see that before. A orange crescent thing. Thing. Yep. That's it. Is it amazing? It's fantastic. What I see, I see the moon discover the sun. Hey, I am seeing the almost total eclipse here in Nevada. Oh, we should also and see the moon has already gone across and the sliver of sun that I'm seeing is now on the right side of the moon and it was on the left side and then across the bottom it looked like a smile now it's just a great big kind of sideways smile but we're having fun watching this once in a lifetime thing and I have to say that remembering what Jesus went through and how God just gave a total eclipse for three hours helps remind us and get everything back into perspective Thanks. Hey, I'm Hayden. This is Lunch with Doug. Save a trip to the mall and experience two stores in one with a huge selection and variety of unique trending clothing and products. Bells and Bows in the second edition shop is just what you've been searching for. Men's, women's, and children clothing for the entire family. Melissa and Doug toys, baked goods, home decor, and so much more. Bells and Bows in the second edition shop are located in the heart of the historic East End Shopping District. Shop at 616 East Walnut, across from the White Grill in Nevada, Missouri. The $25 steak for two is here to stay. Enjoy a 24-ounce sirloin steak for two served with all the fixings. 99% all Missouri beef. All that. And you can quench your thirst from our extensive beverage selection. For the best steak in town, try the $25 steak for two. Now part of our menu. Only at Backroads Family Steakhouse in Nevada, Missouri. The working man's place. Short drive. Great food. Let's cruise the back roads. Camp Clark exit and south at Barrett Street stoplight. Huge wall-to-wall -wall selection at Ellis Furniture Company, celebrating 95 years in business in the community. In-store financing with approved credit, free area delivery, and a friendly sales staff. Ellis Furniture open Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. till 5.30 p.m. and Saturday, 8.30 a.m. till 5 p.m. 201 East Walnut in fabulous downtown Nevada, Missouri. Or give them a call at 417-667-3018. boys and girls this is Tessa McIntyre with Kilted Raven Studios I'm the piercer here and I'm watching lunch with Doug it is taco Tuesday and time for our taco Tuesday trivia here on lunch with Doug the prize today be a first to comment the correct answer and win a k3 meal from KFC in Nevada Missouri let's see our question today is what is the name of the local mink baseball team. It's the Mink League is what it is. What is the name of the local Mink baseball team? Is it A, the Red Sox, B, the Lions, C, the Griffins, or D, the Royals? First to comment the correct answer and you win a K3 from KFC in Nevada, Missouri. A K3 meal, that is, from KFC. From KFC for our, for our Tinder Tuesday. 
Here's the question one more time. What is the name of the local Mink baseball team? Is it Red Sox, Lions, Griffins, or Royals? Be the first to comment and win from our good friends at KFC. You're watching Lunch and Dog! I'm Betty Ann Woody and I'm on the board and I'm kind of semi in charge of the pull tabs on Monday night bingo. Monday night bingo has in the past pretty well helped us support the team. Well our attendance is down this year and that's really hurt. So we need to build up our attendance. and. Uh, We've lost a lot of players because we get a lot of older players, but we'd like to get some young blood in and get more people out to play and help support. G55. And then we have a lot of special nights throughout the year. And uh, when we have, have a sellout for a special night, everybody gets in free. We have a Griffin cap for the young kids, and that, that's a good drawing card. And. Uh, it's just a good program. We've we've been playing ball since 1985. They were organized in 84, but we played our first game in 1985. So we've been doing it quite a while, and we'd like to keep on, but we need a little more income to <laughs> keep it going. B1. Trevor Hoffman was a former Griffin. He's probably our most famous ex-Griffin. But we've had probably 20 major leagues and lots of minor leagues. So that's exciting. <laughs> We're always sending new ideas to make some money to support this Griffin program. You're watching Lunch with Doug. <laughs> Are you needing a new best friend? Find your next pet at the Nevada Exotic Pet Stop in fabulous downtown Nevada, Missouri. If you already have a pet, drop by for all your exotic pet supplies. Food, bedding, reptile leashes, heat lamps, lighting, cage clamps, and many sizes of critter crawler hamster balls for hamsters, rats, ferrets, and more. 113 South Main, across from the Fox Playhouse, fabulous downtown of Ada, Missouri, 667-1044. Tools, video games, computers, TVs, guitars, DVDs, jewelry, coins, and so much more. Cooper's Pawn Shop, 126 North Cedar, on the east side of the Nevada Square, open seven days a week. Stop in and try their new homemade from scratch pies. Purchase them fresh or frozen at Ice Cream Escape, 127 North Austin Boulevard at the Washington Square. Now open Tuesday through Saturday at 1 p.m. If you've never been a customer of Ice Cream Escape, please stop in, tell them you heard this on Lunch with Doug for a free scoop of hand-dipped ice cream. Ice Cream Escape, where all your ice cream dreams do come true.
Make sure to stop in at the Nevada Square Flea Market Consignment Shop at 118 North Cedar Street in Fabulous Nevada, Missouri. Shop local Monday through Saturday, 9 a.m. till 5 p.m. They have a large selection of all sorts of things in stock, and vendors are welcome. That's Nevada Square Flea Market Consignment Shop, located at 118 North Cedar Street in Fabulous, downtown Nevada, Missouri. Hey, this is Sean, and you're watching Lunch with Doug. All right, you are looking at the Sriracha Mac Sauce. This is brand new at McDonald's. It's some form, there you go. It's like the Mac Sauce, only it's different. I'm about to taste it. I'm gonna tell you what's happening. I don't know, I think it had something to do with the lunar, uh, or the solar eclipse, and after the eclipse came, these dropped in the McDonald's. I've never seen them before. I think that's what happened. Okay. Alright, so what I've done here is I've put the new Sriracha Mac Sauce onto my regular cheeseburger and it's going to make it amazing, I think, we hope, okay? There it goes, there it is. Mmm. Well, <clears throat> good and bad news. The Sriracha Mac Sauce is really, really good. But if you're expecting it to be like Mac Sauce, it's really, really not like regular Big Mac Sauce. So, I would just call it Sriracha Sauce if I was McDonald's. Because it really, does, other than the color, it doesn't really remind me of Mac Sauce, but... It's, it's just too different to be mac sauce. Mac sauce is my favorite sauce. But it is good. It's a, it, it's a little spicy. I'll eat it again though, for sure. But it will never replace mac sauce.